Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python and today I'm going to show you how you can find or compute the basic reproduction number uh, in Python. So in the previous video, what I did, I demonstrated uh, some steps uh, in computation of the basic reproduction number and its computation in SageMath. So I'm going to do this video uh, as one of my viewers' questions. So uh, one of my viewers' questions uh, asks for, uh, after watching the previous video, can you find F and V matrix on Python? Can Python do the partial derivative steps? If so, how? So I'm going to respond to this question and the answer for the questions is yes. And today we are going to see how we can do those. So let's recap from the uh, vectors for the new infections rates and the, the vector of other rates which are not new infections. So you can see these are the vectors that we developed in the previous model. I'm going to use the library SymPy. So I'm importing everything from SymPy and I'm going to use the init printing. Uh, this printing function is for giving me a printing out in LaTeX format. So after importing uh, the SymPy library and the, the printing function, then you have to define all the variables and parameters uh, which are involved in your uh, vectors. So uh, for my vectors, these are the variables and the, the uh, parameters which are involved. After defining them, then let's compute the function f and v. So the function f basically is coming from the uh, vector of new infection and the vector v is coming from the vector uh, of uh, other uh, rates which are not new infections. So uh, in the vector of new infections rate we have two function. The function, uh, the first function let's call it f1 which is the uh, product of beta1 as you can see there and s and I. Okay, and the other function, uh, let's call it f2. Basically, this function is zero. Okay, so after defining these two functions, now we are ready to compute the matrix F, and we are going to compute the matrix F using the uh, Jacobian function because we know the matrix F is the partial derivative of the functions with respect to uh, variable e and i. So in Python, we compute like this. We have uh, matrix F equal to uh, matrix. Then inside this, we have to give the function, the two functions from the our vector. Uh, that is F1 and the F2. OK. And we are going to perform the partial derivative is per Jacobian with respect to E and I. Okay, so there is an error here. We need to put a comma and here is a full stop dot. Okay, so after this, now let's visualize our matrix F. Let's run this. Okay, here is our matrix F. You can see, you can compare it with the uh, previous video. It's the same. But uh, our matrix F, remember, we are performing the partial derivative and we evaluate the results uh, at the disease-free equilibrium. So the S here have to be substituted with the values of the S from the disease-free equilibrium. Now let's substitute the value of S uh, in F. So what we can do is to have new F uh, sorry, F capital, and this F, we are going to have the F which have been substituted its value by uh, S, which is the, uh, uh, you can see from your right hand side of your screen, uh, this is the disease free equilibrium that we obtained in the previous uh, video. So here you see S capital, and the the S from the disease-free equilibrium is uh, mu, 
uh, multiplied by uh, n then divided by gamma so this is a substituted value for s now let's run this and see if we have properly substituted our variable yeah you can see uh, we have managed to substitute s with the uh, respective coefficients from the disease free equilibrium now this is the uh, matrix f now we go for the matrix v now uh, the approach is not different we know that uh, uh, matrix v is computed from uh, the vector of uh, other rates which are not new infections so we see there are two uh, functions there now let's define the two functions uh, involved in the vector of other rates uh, by v1 uh, which will be the first entry uh, vector or rates and the second uh, function from v is called to v2 equal to so uh, after defining these uh, two functions from vector v now we are in a position of computing vector v we are going to use the same approach the jacobian uh, approach so we have vector v equal to uh, matrix and inside it we put our two functions as uh, in a, a vector for other rates and the second vector v so uh, we are going to use the jacobian and this is the jacobian uh, of partial derivative of that uh, functions with respect to e and i okay so let's print out our matrix v and see how it's look like yeah we have our matrix v now now here we have the two matrices computed matrix f and v uh, now we are in a good position to compute the R0 and the, as I said we are going to use the next generation matrix method so let's label the next matrix uh, generation as G equal to uh, matrix F we multiply by matrix V inverse so let's do that and let's print this next generation matrix so there is an error I forgot to put dot here okay let's run that again yeah so this is the next generation matrix now from this matrix you can determine the R0 because this is an upper triangular matrix uh, you can easily obtain your eigenvalue and the uh, maximum eigenvalue is the R0 so uh, here uh, you can see the maximum uh, eigenvalue is this one okay we have this one and zero okay but let's do it in a proper way uh, from the uh, next generation matrix uh, because we take the maximum eigenvalue now let's find the eigenvalue of this next generation matrix so we do g dot uh, eigenvalues values and let's print this yeah you can see so these are the eigenvalues we have zero and this one so this one is the maximum uh, eigenvalue because the first one is zero the next number after the eigenvalues these are the multiplicity of the eigenvalues okay so this is how you can compute the R0 purely in python without performing manual work i think i have uh, answered the question from my uh, royal viewer so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video to others until next time goodbye